it's through Instagram to enter the title. And of course, there are a couple strings attached. It's not as great as portrait mode on the iPhone 10 or as easy, but for the most part, if especially you're talking about taking portraits of people, taking selfies, correct, you can really add portrait mode to any iPhone now. Or perhaps any Android phone. I don't really have one to test anymore to tell you if this still works on Instagram, but I'm guessing there's some software, hardware things on Android that might not line up as well. But anyways, for those people who are just jumping into this video and didn't even take the time to read the title, Instagram recently released this new feature in their camera settings. They kind of have a bunch of weird like super zoom and filter modes that are kind of bizarre. But recently they introduced one called Focus. And this is something that is available on iPhone 10 and non iPhone 10s. And you can do this on your iPhone 8 Plus, your 8, your 7. Haven't found out if you can do it on a 6S yet, but I assume you can. Instagram runs fine on there. If for some reason you can't, please let me know in the comments. But this new mode basically does what we saw Google do with the Pixel 2. The one thing I don't critique too much about the Pixel 2 is its ability to use artificial intelligence to mask out backgrounds to have great bokeh effects, and that works on both the front-facing and rear-facing camera. That's really, really cool. But the more you think about it, the more you go, well, that's just software, right? There's nothing in the cameras themselves that make them special about learning what to blur in the background. That's all done with computer processing. Why can't third parties make this possible? Well, looks like Instagram's the one doing that. Now, even on phones like the iPhone 7, which unlike the iPhone 10, cannot take those portrait mode shots on either the front-facing camera, and I assume even if you had a single-lensed iPhone 7, which cannot do portrait mode, or a single-lensed iPhone 6S, you now have this focus feature in the bottom that allows you to take these pretty cool portraits. And I gotta say, comparing it to what the iPhone 10 can do with its front-facing portrait mode, Instagram's not bad. There's definitely a little bit of loss of quality, but I think that's mostly because when you record things in Instagram, it's making it for a very small resolution post. So even if you take pictures or record videos with the rear-facing camera, usually they don't retain their full resolution. But that brings me to my next very interesting point about Instagram's focus mode, is that it has video support. And this is where things get really trippy. This is something Google hasn't figured out, Samsung hasn't figured out, Apple hasn't figured it out. They're able to add that background blur effect with the bokeh on the front or rear facing camera and have you move around. You can just walk around the room and as long as it sees your face, it can keep the background blurred out, which looks really, really neat. And this to me, the reason I wanted to make a video about this was because it made me realize the potential of what computer processing and machine learning could do to smartphone photography. We could get to a point, maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but maybe if our processors get fast enough and machine learning gets good enough, that you'll be able to take portrait mode video, as in the background is blurred, only done through machine learning, not through an actual lens natural bokeh. And this could work on the front-facing camera, rear-facing camera. You could just record videos and have them look really, really good, kind of like DSLRs record video, or this camera records video. It has a natural blur in the background. Maybe through machine learning, this can be possible. Now, before you go open Instagram and try to find this focus feature and act like you're never gonna open the iOS camera app again, there are a few strings attached. For one, when you do that really cool focus recording mode, it can really only do it for like 10 seconds. You have to hold the button down and then it runs out of time and you have to start over again. This feels a little stupid. I kind of wish that you could just record as long as you want, which I think you can. It just has to be chopped up. And on top of that, it really only works in portrait mode. I'm sure there's a couple of you out there saying, why didn't you record this example of the focus feature on Instagram in landscape? Believe me, I tried. For whatever reason, it doesn't really like finding a face and focusing on it when you switch over to landscape mode. Instagram is not a landscape friendly app and neither is their camera. I really hope they can fix this in a software update so that we can actually record full resolution video with the rear facing camera. That way we could get 4K or at least 1080 at 60 resolutions with that blurred background just so that vlogging and overall smartphone videography looks really, really cool. And this update is only a couple days old. I know there's some apps out there that can mimic portrait mode on non iPhone 10 devices or non dual camera devices. And at least the ones I tried in the app store, they don't work too well. Usually they just find your face and then literally blur anything else. But this not only focuses on your face, but can understand that your neck, your chest, everything attached to your head, that doesn't need to be blurred out. And it just works flawlessly. Dare I say Instagram might do a better job at masking out the background and blurring it than Apple's default iOS camera app does. Now, obviously this doesn't mean you need to delete the camera app off your phone. Can you do that? 
No, you can't. Because this only works for 10 seconds. And if you save it to your camera roll, you can tell, especially with the video, it is heavily, heavily compressed and probably not worth it. But for those short little Instagram posts, or if you don't want to spend all your money on an iPhone 10, you can get some pretty good looking portrait mode selfies just using the old fashioned Instagram app on any iPhone now. I think this is really, really cool. And it points to the idea that in the future, maybe all companies are pretty much going to be relying on the same AI and the same machine learning for photography, both pictures and video. And once we get to that point, the exclusive features between different cameras are going to be minimal. They're all going to look pretty good. They're all going to record the same resolutions and no one's going to have that many exclusive features, especially when this new type of software for image and video compression becomes accessible to anyone who can buy a smartphone. But either way, I think that's definitely interesting. Please try it for yourself. Make up your own decision on it. I think it's really cool, but definitely has its flaws. And I hope Instagram can see their potential here and maybe adapt it to be something more functional. Let me know all your thoughts on that in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.